Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane. This video is part of my controller collection series. And today we're gonna to be talking about PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3. I know, I know, I might have a problem with collecting controllers, but hear me out, hear me out here. I want people to be able to come over to this wonderful game room, friends and family and everybody else, and be able to participate in what we're playing. And you can't do that if you don't have enough controllers. So that's why. Well, that's my excuse. But with all of that said, let's move on and go on to the video displaying some of the controllers that are in some that are in my collection. All right, we're going to start off with the high frequency controller. Uh, this is actually, I believe, a PlayStation 2 controller. Could be PlayStation 1, let me make sure. Yeah, it's called the Dual Force, so I'm pretty sure this is just a PlayStation 1 controller, even though the plug looks like it belongs to a PlayStation 2. Uh, I mainly got this because it has the turbo functions, um, and I needed that to uh, just, you know, get through a couple of JRPGs and, you know, level as much as I could. Next up, we have this Intech PlayStation 2 controller. Um, it's definitely wireless. Uh, it does have a charge cable that is fairly lengthy. One end plugs here. The other end actually plugs into the, uh, the receiver that goes into the PlayStation 2. I believe this will work on the PlayStation 1 as well, but it just plugs in right there and it charges. It has the connect buttons. It has uh, turbo functions. Um, has a clear function, an analog function. You can turn the rumble on and off. Uh, this was a decent controller, although like the the sticks are very small, and um, uh, that was kind of an issue. But other than that, this is actually uh, a pretty decent controller. Speaking of PlayStation 2, here is the DualShock 2. Uh, this is one of the ones that I have that's in better condition. Um, I have quite a few of these. Um, I'm not going to show you all of them because I wanted to have two sets of eight players because I have two PlayStation 2s. Uh, but, you know, it's it's a good controller. It's analog. It's got pressure, the pressure sensitive buttons, although I'm not completely convinced on that, but it's, you know, what they claim. Good size length cord, very comfortable in the hand, and uh, you, you can definitely tell that this was a little bit of, uh, of an evolution from the original DualShock. We have the GunCon 3. It's kind of an odd looking controller. Uh, this is for the PlayStation 3. Um, it has an analog on the back, and it has some buttons right there and it has analog right here. Um, these analogs also press in for an additional button. There's two buttons on the front and if you look down here down the barrel you can actually notice that this is a camera and not a photo sensor. Uh, technically that means that this is not truly a light gun. There's also two other buttons right here. Now when I said not truly a light gun that means that this actually does not directly reference the, uh, the television screen and um, it actually references some uh, LEDs that are, you know, putting out some infrared light and that's how it triangulates where you're aiming. Um, works a lot like the, the Wiimote and stuff and I consider those air mice uh, because they are not referencing an exact point on the television screen. But again, this is actually a decent uh, pointing device um, and you can get by with it on the games on the PlayStation 3 that are compatible with this. This is the GunCon 2. Uh, it is uh, very much a slimmer design. It does not have 
the, the two analogs, it does have a D-pad on the back. Um, it has a button at the bottom where the magazine goes. The has a button here and a button here. And I believe, nope, they are different buttons. Um, there's no other buttons except for the trigger. Um, the trigger's a little bit on the soft side, but not bad. Uh, this one actually still references an analog input for video. This was mainly for the PlayStation 2, um, and, I, and it was not compatible with the PS1 or the PS3. Uh, this one, if you look down the barrel, you will actually see that this has a photo sensor in it and not a camera. That means that this is actually a true light gun and it references on the screen. It means that you have to use a standard definition CRT television to actually be able to use this. But this is very good, it's very comfortable, it's also very bright orange. But uh, that's it guys. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondain Designs. I'm your host Mondain. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.